In a gripping display of valor and sacrifice, U.S. Air Force Combat Controller John Chapman's story unfolds on a treacherous Afghan summit during a daring rescue mission. Viewers will witness firsthand the heroic actions of Chapman as he saves his entire SEAL team and an additional 18 members of a quick reaction force, earning him the Medal of Honor. As Chapman and his team face overwhelming enemy fire, his decision to confront danger head-on, charging into enemy bunkers and engaging in fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat, highlights his extraordinary courage. This intense battle sequence, captured on video, shows Chapman not only fighting to recover a fallen comrade but making the ultimate sacrifice. As you watch the footage of Chapman, isolated and battling against odds that would deter many, the story transcends the battlefield, showcasing a man who valued his team's life above his own. This episode not only immortalizes his bravery but also prompts us to reflect on the profound impacts of such unwavering commitment to duty. Discover the full story of John Chapman's incredible mission and the harrowing moments that defined his legacy in, Alone at Dawn. As Chapman and the SEALs disembark from an MH-47 helicopter, he is the second to step out, swiftly moving towards the hostile summit. Isolated on the battlefield, viewers can see him through thermal imaging, moving alone to the right of the screen while his team faces a barrage of enemy fire from all directions. With precision and relentless determination, Chapman engages the enemy, his path marked by the snow flying from his boots and spent cartridges ejecting from his M4. As he battles uphill through knee and thigh-deep snow, under constant fire, his resolve becomes the epitome of heroism and sacrifice. This gripping moment not only tests the limits of human endurance but also highlights the extraordinary feats military personnel are capable of achieving in the face of imminent danger. In the dead of night, deep in hostile territory, John Chapman and his SEAL team face a dire situation. As Chapman's team leader battles through the snow to reach him, a chilling scene unfolds. Above them, a fortified bunker, dubbed Bunker No. 1, houses two enemy combatants armed with AK-47s, unleashing a relentless barrage of fire. Nearby, a significant landmark in this deadly landscape is identified, a rock outcropping known simply as, the Boulder. But it's what lies between Bunker 1 and the Boulder that adds a grave dimension to their mission the body of slain SEAL Neil Roberts, the man whose recovery is at the heart of their perilous endeavor. Within just 10 feet of the enemy bunker, amidst withering point-blank shots, he single-handedly neutralizes two enemy combatants, decisively saving the lives of his fellow SEALs. This courageous assault not only secures the bunker but also earns Chapman his first Medal of Honor. The narrative escalates as Chapman, now in control of the first bunker, coordinates with his team leader to confront the next threat. Bunker 2, occupied by Chechen and Uzbek fighters heavily armed with machine guns, grenades, and RPGs. In the midst of their attack, Chapman is tragically shot twice, leading to his incapacitation. In a harrowing turn of events captured from a new perspective, the camera shifts to reveal a scene of chaos and valor on a snow-covered summit. High atop a strategic boulder, we see a SEAL team desperately engaging the enemy, with the mortally wounded John Chapman below in Bunker 1. In a heart-stopping moment, one SEAL, wielding a modified M60 machine gun, bravely fires from the hip into Bunker 2. Suddenly, he is struck by grenade shrapnel and dramatically tumbles 10 feet off the boulder, collapsing right at his team leader's feet. This critical incident triggers a desperate reassessment of their precarious situation. As the wounded SEAL and team leader confer over the grave injuries, the team faces a grim reality. Their position is utterly untenable against the relentless enemy onslaught. With heavy hearts, the SEALs make the agonizing decision to retreat from the summit. As they maneuver down, they pass by the body of their fallen comrade, Neil Roberts, a poignant reminder of the high stakes of their mission. This sequence not only captures the brutal reality of combat but also sets the stage for the ultimate sacrifice as they leave Chapman behind, underscoring the harsh decisions soldiers must make in the heat of battle. In a tense and climactic moment, captured from a revealing angle, the harsh reality of war is starkly illuminated. John Chapman, a valorous fighter, remains inside Bunker 1, unbeknownst to his team as they make a critical decision. The camera captures three SEALs positioned in a defensive triangle formation around a recently deployed smoke grenade, a vivid testament to the chaos of battle. To the left, a stark reminder of the deadly encounter. 
a donkey and the body of an Al-Qaeda fighter, both casualties of the fierce combat led by Chapman. In a harrowing sequence filled with desperation and survival, the SEALs begin their perilous descent down the mountains near Vertical Face, a vivid illustration of the treacherous conditions they face. Amidst this critical retreat, the team leader, grappling with the urgency of the situation and two wounded teammates, makes a dire call for support. From high above, an Air Force AC-130 gunship responds, unleashing a barrage of 105mm howitzer rounds onto the ridge top in a drastic bid to cover the SEAL's escape. Unknown to the SEALs and the gunship crew, John Chapman, previously thought to be incapacitated, is still alive amidst the chaos. From his precarious position within Bunker 1, he experiences the terrifying force of the airstrikes as they detonate around him at approximately 5.20 in the morning. Miraculously recovering, Chapman resumes his defense against the enemy, engaging from a position flanked by Bunkers 1 and 2. Tragically, the nature of his initial incapacitation and sudden resurgence remains a mystery. Suffering from severe blood loss and in shock, Chapman displays an unfathomable resilience and determination. In a display of unparalleled valor and tenacity, John Chapman, alone and severely wounded, stands against overwhelming odds on a remote mountaintop in Afghanistan. With the dawn breaking around him at 6.05 a.m., Chapman is identified by a green dot under a tree at Bunker 1, marking his position as he prepares to face another wave of enemy fighters. Despite suffering from multiple gunshot and shrapnel wounds from over 40 minutes of fierce combat, Chapman's resolve remains unbroken. During this critical juncture, he makes several radio calls, attempting to communicate with a fellow combat controller and Delta Force operators stationed on a nearby summit. Tragically, Chapman never receives a response, possibly due to damaged equipment or his own deteriorating physical condition. The camera captures the tension-filled moments as the first enemy fighter prepares to charge, aiming to take down the American hero. In a heart-stopping moment of sheer determination and raw survival, John Chapman engages in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat with an enemy fighter atop a remote Afghan summit. The intense scene unfolds with Chapman at the epicenter of action, fighting for his life against insurmountable odds. As the camera pulls back, the tactical display shows additional enemy forces moving onto the summit, escalating the danger with every passing second. Six harrowing minutes later, the tension reaches a climax as Chapman, positioned beneath a tree in the bottom center of the screen, Here's the sound of another helicopter approaching. Captured in a magnified inset box, viewers see Chapman gearing up for what would be his desperate final stand. His mission? To save the lives of 18 men aboard the incoming helicopter, each unaware of the heroic efforts on the ground to secure their landing. This gripping sequence showcases the extraordinary heroism and self-sacrifice of a lone warrior in the face of overwhelming adversity. As Chapman prepares to make the ultimate sacrifice, the audience is left on the edge of their seats, bearing witness to a man's resolve to protect his comrades at all costs. This moment is not just a battle for survival, but a poignant testament to the courage and spirit of a true hero. In an ultimate display of heroism and self-sacrifice, John Chapman, already severely wounded and nearing the end of his ammunition, faces a critical decision amidst a fierce battle on a remote mountaintop. As enemy fighters marked by red dots close in, Attempting to overrun his position and destroy the incoming helicopter carrying a quick reaction force, Chapman chooses valor over safety. It's 6.13 a.m., and the helicopter, loaded with rangers, pararescue men, and another combat controller, is making its final approach. In a desperate bid to protect his incoming comrades, Chapman climbs out of the bunker, exposing himself to intense enemy fire from multiple directions. As he engages the enemy, the helicopter is hit by a rocket-propelled grenade, causing it to crash near the summit. Despite suffering from numerous wounds and on the brink of death, Chapman continues to cover his comrades, providing crucial cover as they disembark from the stricken helicopter, some fatally shot upon exiting. These harrowing moments, captured as the last images of Chapman alive, epitomize the depth of his courage and commitment to his team. Ultimately, after expending nearly all his ammunition and sustaining 16 bullet and shrapnel wounds, Chapman succumbs to a fatal shot through the heart. Though we may never know his final thoughts, John Chapman's extraordinary actions during those critical moments undoubtedly saved the lives of 23 comrades, earning him a posthumous second Medal of Honor.
This poignant tale of bravery not only memorializes a fallen hero but also serves as a profound reminder of the sacrifices made by those who serve. For more information about John Chapman's amazing story and the details about this mission, visit https colon slash slash momuseum.org slash medal of honor recipient john chapman 